my name is Kira and I'll take you on the tour. So if you have any questions at all, please just ask. Has anybody been to Lefroy before? Yeah. Nobody? Okay, well at Lefroy we've been established for almost 200 years. Now there was a period on Isla where a lot of distilleries had to close down, but we've been quite lucky and we've managed to stay open. Now the word Lefroy is a Gallic word and it means the beautiful hollow by the broad bay. And I know that's quite a large sentence for one word translated, but it's quite a unique language. And something else that's quite different and unique about Lefroy is that we still malt our own barley. And there are only six distilleries left in the whole of Scotland who still do this. There are ourselves, Bemore and Cofoman, here on Isla. Then there's Highland Parks. Put you back into it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll just put our peat onto the ground, set it alight, and then that will burn upstairs to the kiln. And these are topped up about every 30 minutes during the 17 hours. Now, all the peat that we use is our own peat, and it comes between the Mackey Hotel and the Isla Airport. It's about six miles north from here, on a flat piece of land, so you've probably passed it while you've been here. Now, we're the only distillery left to hand cut our peat. And the reason we do this, it retains the moisture, so when it's burnt, it produces more smoke. So we use peat cutters, just like this one here. That's a sheep's horn on the end, in case you're wondering. It's meant to stop you getting sore hands, because it is tough work. And what they do is, they'll take off the top layer of grass, put that back on last year's cut to keep that fresh. Then we take the top layer of peat, which is up to about there. But it's too wet to use, so we leave this to dry out in the field for a few months. So there's a picture on the wall beside us. You can just see we stack the peat and that lets the air through them and dries them out. <laughs> and the flavour. 
You may be aware that whiskey is completely colourless, it takes all its colour from the wood. So we get this done in America before we get it, and it's available in a grade of 1 to 4, ours are charged for a grade of 3. If you have a look, you can see that there's a line that runs through the wood as well. So a set of whiskey was in here for around 15 to 20 years. The further it soaked into the wood, the older the whiskey.